Hello everyone and welcome to today's devotion. My name is Toba and with my wife Abimbala, we are the African Connect Pastors for Audacious Church. This week, I will be taking you on a journey through Matthew 28, 16 to 20, the Great Commission, a moment in history where Jesus equipped and Powered and enabled his followers to change the world. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Today, we will take a look at the power of obedience. In Matthew 28, 16, we see the disciples gather on a mountain in Galilee as Jesus had commanded. This moment of obedience laid the foundation for the great commission. The disciples didn't fully understand what Jesus was going to ask of them, but they trusted and followed his command. This teaches us the importance of obedience in our work with Christ. Sometimes God calls us to step out in faith, even when we don't fully understand what lies ahead. Like the disciples, we may face doubt, uncertainty, or fear. But obedience brings us closer to experiencing the fullness of God's plan. Trusting is a lead, opens doors to opportunities we may have never imagined. Jesus revealed himself in a powerful way when the disciples obeyed. It reminds us that in the moment when we choose faithfulness over hesitation, God meets us and empowers us. He transforms our ordinary obedience into extraordinary impact. In your life today, how is God calling you to obey? Perhaps he's nudging you to share your faith, to serve someone in need, or step into a leadership role. It's tempting to wait for perfect understanding before we act, but Jesus often calls us to move first in obedience, promising that he will meet us there. As we follow his command, we can trust that he will reveal himself more clearly and equip us for what lies ahead. Let's take the first step of faith, knowing that God honors our obedience and desires to use us for his kingdom. A prayer today is, Lord, help us to trust and obey your commandment, even when we don't fully understand. Strengthen my faith, strengthen our faith, and remind us that you meet us in our obedience. Use us, Lord, for your purpose. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Bye for now.